the Lisa Rinna M&M, loved by some, unknown to most, but a mother to all. For those who don't know, Lisa Rinna is an American actress slash reality TV star who is probably most known for playing James Diamond's mum in the Disney show Big Time Rush. I joke. She is probably best known for featuring in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In 2022, videos and images of the Lisa Rinna M&M, an M&M that looked like Lisa Rinna, began to pop up everywhere and anywhere. From Family Guy scenes to stalking Jamie Lee Curtis, the candy morphic housewife was, and remains to be, unavoidable on the internet. But where did it all start? Why did it all start? And what does it all mean? Here's the story of how the Lisa Rinna M&M became crowned queen of the uncannily accurate celebrity confectionery doppelgangers. There wasn't that many in the running, if I'm honest, but still, she prevailed and here we are. First, to truly understand the magnitude of the Lisa Rinna M&M, we need to learn to understand the M&M. So, for those who don't know, M&Ms are a type of sweet or candy. Still with me? And in early 2007, the M&M company began an advertising campaign called There's an M&M in Everyone. The basic premise of these ads was random people doing day-to-day -day things, but they were M&Ms. Because there's an M&M in everyone. Get it? The campaign continued for a couple of years, and during this time, M&M actually had a number of celebrities feature in these ads as M&Ms. Celebrities like Dr. Phil, Burt Reynolds and Indiana Jones, all in M&M form. And for the 79th Academy Awards in February 2007, M&Ms created an ad showing Joan and Melissa Rivers as M&Ms on the Oscars red carpet. This peanutty Joan Rivers ad must have been a huge success as in February 2008, the next year, to promote the Oscars once again, M&Ms created an ad advert with two new celebrity M&Ms on the Oscars red carpet. First was an M&Mified Joey Fatone and posing alongside him on the red carpet was none other than the Lisa Rinna M&M. Did you feel that? The universe just shifted. The advert was a reference to Lisa and Joey's interviewing gig at the Oscars and it appeared in several magazines, one of which being the March 7th 2008 issue of Entertainment Magazine. And you may be wondering, Joe, how do you know such an oddly specific piece of information that you can't just Google. Well that's because I have spent many hours researching and hunting for magazines from the time and have managed to track down the advertising relic like some sort of second-rate archaeologist. When will your fave? Despite the Lisa Rinna M&M arguably being one of the greatest artistic works of the 21st century, the mutant actually went incredibly unnoticed following its debut in 2008. Now, fast forward 12 years to 2020, the world was finally ready. On the 18th of August 2020, the Twitter account Solar Runway posted the following tweet, context unknown. F it, Lisa Rinna M&M. Although the tweet only gained around 78 likes, this appears to be the first time the Lisa Rinna M&M was used in a meme style context. God, I hate myself. Over the next 10 months, the Lisa Rinna M&M was sporadically posted across Twitter, and in one instance, it appeared in a tweet featuring the whole array of M&M celebrities, which gained over 19,000 likes. But it wasn't until the 31st of May 2021 that the Lisa Rinna M&M really began to take off, when the Twitter user at Eva Dents tweeted the now iconic picture, with the caption simply reading Lisa Rinna M&M. The tweet gained almost 9,000 likes, and this is a significant moment in the Lisa Rinna M&M cinematic universe, because the account Eva Dents is arguably single-handedly responsible for the slightly disturbing M&M's rise to power. The Frankenstein to the monster, if you will. As the tweet gained popularity, one user tagged Lisa Rinna in the meme, and on the following day, June 1st, Lisa Rinna actually responded, tweeting, so delicious. Eva Dents promptly shared a screenshot of the interaction, captioned, what the f***, before later clarifying Lisa Rinna cannibalism. Following these tweets, the Lisa Rinna M&M was now a known entity to several people on Twitter, but the meme wouldn't reach its peak until over a year later. On the 21st, of August 2022, Eva Dents, am I even saying that right, tweeted, I can't go a single hour without listening to this, help. The tweet was in reference to a TikTok audio teaser of the upcoming K-pop song Afterlike from the group IVE. 
At first glance, this tweet is seemingly outside of the Lisa Rinna Eminem origin story, but I think it's very relevant, and it's my video. On the same day as this tweet, the account also tweeted a series of LR Eminem memes, and it wasn't long before the account had a spark of genius. On the 22nd of August, the full After Like song was released, and on the same day, Eva Dents tweeted the following video. The tweet went on to gain 33,000 views and would go on to spawn a viral frenzy. Because this video is the first instance of the Lisa Rinna Eminem being combined with the song After Like, and soon the song would become synonymous with the meme. Over the weeks that followed this video, the account posted a series of memes all containing the Lisa Rinna Eminem, all with the After Like song as a backing track. This included edited Family Guy scenes, The Simpsons edits, nail art videos, fake Nintendo adverts, a wild Pokemon encounter, and one which was just a fake out. Lisa Rinna Eminem is not here, you know, just to keep you on your toes. And my personal favourite was a character selection menu featuring the other Eminem style celebs. Some of these videos were uploaded to TikTok, and eventually the Lisa Rinna Eminem became a bit of a hashtag Christ meme, where people would have the meme pop up randomly, anywhere and everywhere kind of like a rickroll, if we are even still talking about those. People would make edits of the M&M like they would with a celebrity or fictional character, often with the most exaggerated and aggressive PowerPoint transitions possible, some even including the human Lisa. The meme continued to expand, and with it the M&M law, as TikTok users began to make crossover memes, with one person making an M&M based on the internet legend Jayafe, which is a whole different can of worms that I'm probably going to have to open soon or later. The Lisa Rinna M&M also couldn't be kept confined in their 2D plane, as a Twitter user sculpted their own little model of the character and shared it on Twitter, gaining thousands of likes. And it wasn't long before celebrities began to join in on the trend, with Suki Waterhouse sharing a video of herself with the Lisa Rinna M&M and its mother. The Lisa Rinna M&M was officially viral, with the TikTok hashtag having gained approximately 50 million total views. And as the Gen Z Rickroll had become so rampant over on TikTok, it began to reach an audience of people that were extremely confused as to what exactly was going on. Just found out there is a human version of Lisa Rinna Eminem? Why the after like sound? Did Lisa make that sound? Who's Lisa Rinna and I can't escape her? An artist that probs collabed with Eminem? IDK but it's sorta of that. And others complained that they would never be able to listen to the song the same way and that their For You pages were filled with the meme. The Lisa Rinna Eminem was was inescapable. Lots of the meme posts went on to gain millions of views, but let's check back in with the mastermind behind the meme, Eva Dents. While the meme grew, Eva Dents had continued to make videos of the memes and posted them on their socials. And on the 25th of August 2022, Eva Dents uploaded to TikTok what could only be described as an abstract horror short film. In the video, we see the Lisa Rinna M&M sucked into a wormhole and we are introduced to what some people described as a biblical accurate Lisa Rinna M&M, who seems to question life itself, and then chants that they have purpose. This was later followed by a post-credit type Lisa Rinna M&M therapy scene, which really expanded the M&M lore alongside its artistic value. The short film gained over 600,000 views and almost 120,000 likes. After the sudden resurgence of the meme in 2022, on the 1st of September, Lisa Rinna posted again, this time on her Instagram, sharing an image of the M&M fursona with the caption, I ate, hashtag throwback Thursday. Lisa, seemingly fully on the Eminem bandwagon, also shared another post on Instagram of what can only be described as a modern day wonder of the world. Here's the original hanging on my wall, a flex if I've ever seen one. However, Lisa's new obsession with her meme counterpart didn't stop there. Lisa has since posted a series of TikToks sharing videos of the Lisa Rinna Eminem meme, one of which was from an account who 3D modelled the Eminem and this TikTok has gained over 300,000 likes and over 1 million views. But as we all know, some of us a little too well, what goes up must come down. On the 22nd of September 2022, after the widespread virality of the meme and that short snippet of after like being burned into people's brains, Eva Dents posted a TikTok with the caption, it's okay to let go. Also stream after like because that was the whole purpose of me starting the thing anyway. The TikTok itself was a tribute to the m 
M&M in celebration of life, Lisa Rinna M&M, too powerful for this world to comprehend, but you were getting very annoying. Although seemingly bringing the meme to a close, the video concluded with a short clip of a microphoned hand reaching out of the grave, reborn, followed by the message, maybe someday, and also a little message about Lisa to Bravo TV, who airs Housewives. And that zombie revival someday was the 31st of October 2022, as the Lisa Rinna M&M did in fact return, when Eva Dents posted a short video titled, A Very Lisa Rinna Halloween. We And I think it's safe to say that the Lisa Rinna Eminem meme has passed over to the other side. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future.